Kia internet and Mary Kiri Mete. First of all, I want to say now my harimai welcome to all of the new subscribers. Suddenly, I had a video that got really popular and loads of people subscribing. So welcome to you all. Just to introduce myself, I'm Future Cat. I'm a non-binary person living in Aotearoa, New Zealand. My pronouns are they, them. I generally post videos around every two weeks and they're about half on quilting topics, about half on travel, mostly around Aotearoa at the moment because travel's been restricted for the last few years, and the occasional just vloggy thing. Those of you who've been around for a while might notice the sound and picture quality are a little bit different to usual at the moment. That's because I got burgled the other day. It was really annoying. Luckily they didn't take very much and best of all they didn't touch any of my sewing stuff. But they did take the camera that I normally used to record on. So yeah, I'm trying to record this on my phone, which is not ideal. But Luckily, I had already filmed most of this week's video and best of all, I had already downloaded all of the footage off my camera because otherwise I would have lost that and that would have been really annoying. This week's project was a fun one. I had found a fat quarter of pretty ugly Christmas fabric in my stash. I'm not sure where it came from actually. And I thought, I wonder if I could turn this into some mini quilts and make it not so ugly in the process. I was looking through my stash of Christmas fabrics and found this one. I don't know where it came from because I can't imagine I would have bought it. It's really not my taste. So I've got a fat quarter of ugly fabric. That sounds like a challenge to me. I wonder if I can turn it into something that actually looks good. The first rule of ugly fabric is cut it smaller. Maybe if I fussy cut some of the Santa heads and then add some other fabrics that fit with the color scheme. Looks like I can get a four inch square centered around his head. So I'll start by cutting four of those. And now if I frame them with a one inch strip, that will increase their total size to five inches, which makes them a bit easier to work with, because then I can surround them with a checkerboard of two and a half inch squares. Yeah, I like that. So that's one quilt top made, but I've still got a lot of that fabric left and a few other ideas. I wonder if I could make something that looked like a present by making a pinwheel with half square triangles for the bow. Sort of looks like a present, but it's quite small. What if I add a border? No, I don't like that. Too much of the cream fabric. I think I'm going to trim it back down a bit. And then add some more borders. Maybe even a flange. Cornerstones? Mm, yeah, maybe not. Yeah, that looks better. I've still got a lot of scraps left though. I don't think I've got enough fabric to get any more of the big centre blocks out, but I could probably get some three inch squares and then make a checkerboard from them. Ta-da! 
three mini quilt tops out of that one ugly fat quarter. They're all very different, but I think they will look quite good. And here they are, quilted and bound. They're going to make great last minute Christmas presents. And I got to get rid of a fabric that I don't really like from my stash. I call that a win all round. Well, I'm pretty pleased how those turned out. I think they look really good considering I didn't like the fabric I started with. Just goes to show with a bit of creativity and a lot of fussy cutting, you can make just about anything look good. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed coming along on that little design journey. <laughs> Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I will see you next time. Kakite anō, internet. Bye.